Hello everyone, this is INFP Gamer once again. So we have just bought the uh, small shield. I don't know if there's anything else that we need. What would you like? Now we already have everything else. So let's head outside here. Um, shield. And you can see we got a nice little shield there. A little bit more protection, not much. I think it's like, what, 5% or something like that? What would you like? Give me another key, J. Slightly more expensive, but we're going to be making a good... We can make a good amount of money anyway. Pretty easily, pretty quickly. Oh, it's got another one, why not? That's enough. Yeah, I wish you could speed up the text with the A button. That'd be nice. Let's talk with this guy. If we have the magic, you can break the wall. But if you don't have it, well, then next you can't break the wall. The magic should be in the tower. You can get it by defeating a dwarf. We'll have to check out that magic thing. There is the town of Fourpaw ahead of you. Okay, that's just another guru. We don't need to talk to him just yet. Watch out for poison. Yeah, poison does that. Thank you for stating the obvious. 250 gold is not a bad... F we don't need that right now, but that's a pretty good price. Later it'll become 500, and then 1,000, and then... Yeah, it gets very expensive. You can carry up to 8 items. Choose wisely, all important. Did you learn the Guru's Mantra? He needs a password. The mantra will return you to this world. If you say so, buddy. Alright, let's see here. Ow. Then you gotta time your swings and space out between the enemy. Let's get some cash. The green bar is your magic bar, red bar is your health. E experience, G gold. Oh, ow! Now they can push you over back into the next screen, by the way. That's the tower. We need the magic to uh, break this wall here. So, let's go. And back into the tower. Let's head in there. Item. We need the J key. I've used key. So you can grind on those, uh, spike guys if you need food. I'm gonna skip those guys for now. Whoa, ow. Yeah, you can hit twice with the dagger if you're close enough. Get a running start, and jump! Otherwise you can't clear that gap if you don't get a running start. Skip you, buddy. <clears throat> if you want to get that expensive equipment that we were looking at, some people say you should stay here and go back and forth between those two guys. Not a bad way, but I look. Out, I have a better uh, area I like to go to. It's up ahead, but we need the mattock first. Let's get some bread. Ah, man. Let's try that again. There we go. I didn't get enough momentum going. We could just stand here. Just like that. Okay, I think we're almost at the boss. Jump! Ah, don't do that! I'll run out of magic. I need magic for the boss. Come on, you stupid thing! You idiot! And here's the boss. I hope I have enough magic. One, two, three, four, five... You need 13 shots. Six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11. Alright. I'm holding Matic. So we got a Matic, but we actually need a few Matics, because, uh, we want to get that magic, which I do. You don't have to, it's optional, it's expensive, but just for the hell of it, why not? Under normal conditions, I probably wouldn't. Now we can hit those spikes with our sword now because of the, dis the uh, height that we're at compared to them. So let's get the heck out of here. Ah! Run, jump! Woo! Oh, ow. I was just about to say, miss me. Nope! <laughs> well, I'm not doing a very good job here. Okay, let's head back to town here. Um, and I'm gonna heal up, and then I'll meet you outside the tower again. Alright, so here we are back at the tower. Get another JP going. We can't get another Matic from the boss, but there is a way to get more Matics here. Which we need. I wanna get two more Matics. What you do here is you, uh, wanna fight these guys. See if they give us a magic here. Sometimes there's a lot of areas in this game where every four screens, enemy will drop an item. And that guy up there, once you clear out all the enemies, will get a magic up there. Let's see if he gives us one. We want to get two more. Nope, guess we're gonna have to uh, get this bread. Go back through here again. And kill these guys. Whoa. And here's a Matic. One... There are quite a few screens in this game. I'm not sure exactly which screens give you all of the items. So here we go. One... Two... Three... And here we are, and the fourth time we come to this screen, I think he should give us an item, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if it works. Ah. Hey, it worked. And we get a third Matic. Great. I think that's all we need for now. That should be good. So let's get the heck out of here. I'm not timing my attacks very good, am I? Oops. Stupid thing. Alright, so let's continue on. Use the magic to break the wall. Use items by holding down and pushing B, by the way. Up and B is for your magic attacks. And you got T up there, time. Some items that you can use only for a limited amount of time before they run out, so that's what that's for. And we continue up here. I think there, a potion sometimes appears there with that four screen thing, much like the other one. Oh, these guys are annoying. But they do drop bread, so that's good, at least. Mm, yummy! Run and jump! Yeah, this guy's not too hard. Takes a few shots. Just corner him. More bread, more health. And we got that glove. That uh, temporarily increase increases your offense for a limited time. We're not going to deal with that just yet. We'll get it later. Oh, this guy has Deluge also. And we just keep going here. Jump! Ah! I think I got hit. This is the town of Fourpaw that we were told about. Oh, we don't need meat from you. We got something here that we want to get, though.
And that's the longsword. We can kill the spinies with it now without uh, having to use Deluge. So that's cool. Alright, I think I'm almost out of time, so I'll see you in the next clip. And we'll go make some money.